In this lecture, we'll learn more about how to use the heart rate monitor. So, I actually created some sample code in the background here uh, based on another GitHub project. Um, I actually took the section to process the heart rate data and put it inside the notification section. So, as we know, we subscribe to the notifications and we are going to read all the heart rate values and then average them out at the end. So if the heart rate is above zero or the reading is above zero, we add it to the array. And then at the fifth count of heart rate, we dispose of the notification handler and return the average of the values in the array. So right now I'm going to start the app on the Android device. Now the reason I have breakpoints here is because right now my code just simply debugs and connects to the heart rate monitor. Now my heart rate monitor needs a uh, multiple pushes to get it to connect. Uh, again, it's not the best heart rate monitor, but it's great for this demonstration to show connectivity with Bluetooth. So as you see, the app has officially launched on the device. I'm going to actually start the pairing process after I hit the read button. Now it should be pairing. You'll notice it connected. So I'm going to actually start hooking the heart rate monitor up. Click the continue button. I'm going to press the buttons again in order to get it to connect. There you go. It's going to delay for two seconds and then get the average. You'll see that the average will output in the log here. Right now the average heart rate is 71 and then the device will disconnect. So right here in the log for debug you'll see that the heart rate's average was 71 from the Bluetooth connection. So, with that, we have learned not only how to create a Bluetooth client and server, but also use the same library to connect to a heart rate monitor that you can purchase from Amazon for as little as $15. You'll see in the code that we have changed it to accommodate a different structures and device functionality, including connecting to the nearby heart monitor. Then we actually read five heart rate readings from the monitor and average them and output it to the debug log and then disconnect afterwards.